Hi everyone, welcome to today's Como Live. Uh, we have kind of a special event going on today. Uh, this week is, we're calling it World Giraffe Week. Uh, World Giraffe Day is this Sunday, June 21st. We're gonna celebrate all week uh, by bringing you all kinds of different giraffe videos and live segments. Uh, tell you a little bit about our giraffe and how we take care of them, what we do here. Uh, so, you've all seen uh, our indoor exhibit space. This is uh, the space our giraffe used during the winter time and it's too cold for them to be outside here in Minnesota. Uh, luckily, it's warmed up and everyone is outside today. Uh, we thought it would be a great time to, to show you the rest of the barn. We get a lot of questions about what goes on behind that wall. Uh, so we thought now would be a great time to show everyone. So let's head that direction. So this is, is kind of our wall of enrichment. Uh, we try as much as possible to, uh, to encourage natural behaviors from the giraffe, to keep them challenged and thinking. Um, so we're always coming up with new and creative ways uh, to, to challenge them. So this is just kind of a wall of examples of what we've got um, to work with and uh, what we've come up with over the years. Uh, we try and do something different every single day, uh, so we're constantly trying to come up with, uh, with new stuff. We do a lot of different uh, puzzle feeders and things. We put food in them. Uh, they use that, that great big tongue of theirs. Their tongue is about 18 inches long and it's prehensile like a monkey's tail so they can reach in there with their tongue, grab the treats and the food out of those. Uh, we do a lot of different uh, tactile things for the, uh, the young ones especially um, as they're trying to explore the world and get to know their surroundings. Um, you know, they use their tongue kind of like, uh, like we would hands uh, to, to explore and see what's, what's out there. Um, we do a lot of different, uh, we get some wind chimes we put together here, just some different noise making things, uh, try and engage all their different senses. So those are some of the enrichment items that we use and we try and put something different together every single day for them. So as we go around the corner here, we're going to uh, step into their exhibit space, give you a little different view of what they see. Uh, so this is what the giraffe would see when you come to visit. Uh, this is their space. Uh, as you can see, um, everything is at giraffe height. Uh, so all their feeders are raised up in the air, uh, as well as their enrichment items. Between uh, 13 and 17 feet tall, uh, they're much, much taller than us. As you can see, the floor in this space is a little different. Um, it's kind of a grooved concrete. Um, it was put in like that specifically for the purpose of helping to maintain the, uh, the hoof health of our giraffe. So it works kind of like a great big nail file. Um, keep their hooves trimmed. Their hooves are constantly growing, so giving them some rough surfaces uh, to walk across helps to keep those hooves trimmed, keep them uh, in a healthy condition. We've also got some mats out here for the young ones to lay down on, uh, give them some soft spaces. And then as we move around the wall, we'll see uh, we do have uh, we have some bedding areas in there in the back for them uh, when they do lay down. So back here, this is one of the stall areas we have for the giraffe. Um, it's a big open stall so they can kind of move around, get comfortable. Uh, we do have a nice soft bedding on the floor for them. And again, everything is raised up. So we have, uh, we have automatic waterers up here on the wall for them. Uh, they can get fresh water whenever they want. They've got a, a little lever in there. When they push that with their nose, it turns on like a drinking fountain so they get fresh water to drink. Um, their food is all raised up in the air. So the bulk of their diet here is hay and alfalfa. So one of the biggest differences 
in the giraffe barn, uh, it's different than all the other barns, is the size of the doorways. Our doors are humongous. They're about 13 feet tall, about four feet wide, uh, which allows the giraffe to be able to move in and out very comfortably. So all of, our, all of our doors, we don't work in with the giraffe. Um, as gentle as they appear, or as gentle as they are, uh, they do have a very powerful kick and we don't want to uh, accidentally get kicked by one of them. Um, so all of our doors are operated on a pulley system. Um, if we step out into the hallway here, we can maybe see that. Um, but all of our doors are operated from outside of the stall. So if we pull it down, it closes the door. Um, the other way opens it up. So that way we can safely manage the animals. We can move them from one area to the next uh, without actually having to go in there with them. So one of the great features of our barn, uh, from a zookeeper perspective, is we do still have access to the animals throughout the day. Um, We've got this, uh, this little window into the outdoor exhibit space where we can work on training and, and still be able to interact with the animals, uh, which is really, really nice. Hey, Penelope. So we get asked a lot about what do they eat. So this, I wanted to show you, uh, this is their, their hay mangers. Uh, so the bulk of their diet is alfalfa. Uh, so we have a couple of different options for them to eat out of here. A uh, lower one for the, the calves, a taller one for the adults. Uh, and they, we use uh, hay nets um, to really slow their feeding down. So a giraffe naturally in the wild would spend about 75% uh, of their day eating. Uh, so we want as much as possible to kind of slow their, their feeding behavior down um, and extend that uh, throughout the day. We do offer them food all day long and they have free choice alfalfa, so as much as they would like to eat all day. Uh, we usually end up feeding roughly about uh, 50 to 60 pounds of alfalfa uh, throughout the day. Um, on top of the alfalfa, we do offer them fresh browse every day, um, two or three times a day. So fresh browse, what I mean by that is fresh branches and leaves for them to eat. They are browsing animals, so in the wild, the bulk of their diet would consist of leaves um, from different trees. The acacia tree is their favorite. We obviously don't have them growing here in Minnesota, but we do have a, a number of other trees that we can offer them that are safe for them to eat. Um, they really enjoy that browse, that fresh browse throughout the day. Uh, on top of that, they also get a specialized grain. Um, looks a lot like rabbit food, and it's made specifically for giraffe uh, to really balance their diet with all the nutrients uh, and, and vitamins and stuff that they need for a healthy, balanced diet. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Uh, it's really great to be able to welcome you to the barn and, uh, and show you kind of what we're doing behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, so tune in tomorrow for more great draft stuff and uh, have a great day.